Hello, this is Zach here. I am unboxing my uh, <laughs> drone flute walking stick from KK Flutes that I uh, just recently purchased. Uh, the impetus behind this is our upcoming Shenandoah hike trip that Liz and I are doing, and I thought it would be cool to have an instrument while I was out in the mountains, and I also like hiking sticks, and so I thought this just was an easy combination, and uh, this is by, uh, like I said, a manufacturer in Mississippi, uh, KK Flutes. I will, um, uh, if I end up posting this video anywhere, I will uh, put a link to their uh, website so you can take a look at uh, what this guy makes because these are pretty fantastic. So this is my first time uh, seeing this. I just got it in the mail today. As you can see, I haven't opened it at all. So you are seeing this happen in real time. We'll probably do one of those fast motion, fast forward sequences here. I'll put some nice, I don't know, ambient, new agey, and you kind of synthesize waterfall music to this or something while I it all up or maybe you just like to hear me chat I don't know okay got some bubble wrap here and oh I think I see possibly the bottom the rubber nub as it were maybe that's the top I'm not sure well that's all that's in there so this is it good heavens I'm a dork okay all right there's no one else in the house. This is just me. Uh, both kids are doing school stuff and Liz is running in between. Uh, so I, uh, I don't really do videos very often or it's just me and the camera talking to me and the camera and I'm a little hesitant to take a look at this again <laughs> after it's all done and, and decide if I'm actually gonna post it. So if this ends up making it to Facebook or YouTube and that's where you're watching it, then congratulations because you are looking at uh, Zach and his most raw, uninhibited version. Good heavens, I'm gonna have to edit that part out. Okay, all right. Um, I have to unwrap this somehow. It's taped up, oh, I see. It's, you know, delicate. It's an instrument, so I don't wanna just rip into it. I think, let us see. The tape starts up here, which I am now thinking is the Quite a bit of leather on it and I know there's some rubber at the bottom as well so it may be making it uh, hard for that bubble wrap to unwrap there we go there we go thank you KK Flutes that is a magnificent wrapping job I'm <laughs> not exaggerating I really really appreciate that making very careful that this arrived from Mississippi to here in the Orlando, Florida area without any mishaps. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that is magnificent. I'm in awe. Um, wow. The uh, craftsmanship is absolutely gorgeous so um for those of you that don't know a lot about native american flutes in the family uh they have what's called a block system where you blow into the hole and then this is a moving piece that you literally move back and forth to um, cut the air on the hole shorter or longer so you can sort of fine tune a native american flute depending on how hard you blow um, and things like that so um because of some of those bells and whistles, a lot of Native American flute artists like this one uh, use that as an opportunity to show off their craftsmanship with these uh, blocks, the way they're carved beautifully, uh, the leather um, that he put on, on it is just uh, beautiful. So this is the handle. 
I'm now using it in its walking stick fashion. It feels very sturdy. Good. That's fantastic. And then the hole there is for the one flute. So this is a drone flute. Um, this is why I was so interested in it, because I'm a bagpipe player, so I love me some drones, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it's a drone flute, uh, which means that it has uh, two flutes in one. One uh, stays at a constant pitch of E, and then the other one has these holes, which I believe are tuned basically to an E minor pentatonic with uh, one little variation right there. So um, the fingering, if I remember correctly, is like this. And then I believe you put your finger over the entire hole from everything I've read. This is my very first time playing uh, this uh, kind of flute. Um, I'm a bagpipe player and I play tin whistles, so I'm used to using my fingers like that um, uh, quickly, uh, using the middle part of my finger for the pad rather than sort of contorting my fingers a bit to cover the holes. So that will be a new sensation I will have to get used to. And then uh, you play to the side like this. So I believe this one should be the, the drone. This is my very first time ever doing something like this. Here we go. Okay, so that's the drone. So that'll be the constant note through everything. Now I'm gonna try isolating the other half, which is the, the flute part. So that's the pentatonic right there. I have to keep, for anyone who's interested in learning to play this eventually, you have to keep your, um, oh, what would that be, your ring finger on your left hand down on that hole all the time. So that's working some interesting muscles right there I'll have to get used to. Um, anyway, you can, you can lift it when you want, I believe that would be a C major in there, if I'm uh, doing that scale correctly. Uh, within the, you know, the, the, the G major, E minor relative, major minor aspect of where these notes go. But if you want to just stay in the E minor pentatonic, which it will match the E drone, then you want to keep that finger down the entire time. So that's the technique, which I have not mastered yet. So I'm gonna try going up and down the scale one more time and see if I can keep that finger down. So that last part is I went up to that uh, that note you're not supposed to if you want to stay in the minor pentatonic, so you can hear the difference there. Okay, now I'm going to try both of them together with the drone and see if I can make some music here. I'm just going to mess around.
so, um, <laughs> I got a long ways to go, but I'm madly in love with this instrument. This is one of the most beautiful things I own now. Um, good heavens. Uh, I, I am in awe with the craftsmanship. This is fantastic. Um, it's, it's not too flashy. The leather is, uh, it feels great as far as the grip. Uh, as far as a walking stick, um, the wood is, uh, the manufacturer told me, Chris is a great guy. I spoke with him uh, over Facebook and over the phone. Um, uh, Poplar, I think he said. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'll um, put a caption there or something about what the wood actually is made out of, but it's incredibly sturdy. It's, it's fantastic as an actual hiking stick, um, as well as a flute. And I am just, like I said, in awe of this. Um, all right, so this is uh, the first of what I hope is many videos to come of uh, my adventures with this amazing flute stick. This, uh, again, if you're looking for uh, a hobby, if you wanna join me on uh, uh, falling in love with something like this and purchasing one for yourself, uh, I will put a link down there, but you can go to KK Flutes, and uh, this particular model is an E minor um, model of a uh, drone flute walking stick, I believe is what he's calling it. All right, this is Zach. It was great talking with y'all, and uh, like I said, hopefully you'll get some videos of uh, me playing with this more, especially in a couple weeks when we'll be in Shenandoah National Park. Cheers. <laughs>